To developing news that Western Mass News has been following all day. The state's Department of Elementary and Secondary Education planning to phase out remote learning entirely. It would start with elementary school students back in the classroom full time by April. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live for us in Springfield with more. Lindsay? Kristen Jordan, I spoke to several people tonight from local elected officials to parents. This plan has mixed reviews across the board, but some say local school committees should have a hand in making this decision. Kids want to be in school learning alongside their friends, their classmates, and their peers. Governor Charlie Baker putting his support with the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education Commissioner Jeffrey Riley, who says he wants all elementary school students back in the classroom five days a week beginning in April, with middle and high school students closely behind. He's not here in East Hampton. He's not looking at our buildings. It's not his job. East Hampton Mayor Nicola Chappelle tells Western Mass News she thinks the city should be able to make reopening decisions for themselves and not be forced into a plan they don't agree with. With the legal advice I just got, I don't understand um, where the mandate would come from. Um, but I'm well aware that if there are strong guidelines, then the commissioner and Desi's board can withhold funding for us to proceed. Meanwhile, president of the Massachusetts Teachers Association, Marina Jimmy, tells Western Mass News teachers in her organization are furious. This plan came out of nowhere. So that to me says it's a bait and switch move by the governor who's attempting to take the spotlight off his massive failure of the vaccine rollout. She says they're still trying to figure out if Commissioner Riley has the authority to make these decisions. They're still trying to understand it. Uh, we have no details beyond a few loose, uh, loose ideas that the commissioner released. But some local parents say it's about time students return to a traditional school day. What are, what are we going to do, keep our kids home forever? Because we don't know when um, the pandemic is going to be over. Dawn Leanna O'Brien from Springfield tells Western Mass News her daughter has been out of school for almost a year. She says she will allow her child to make her own decision and she wants to go back to school. I think they really need the social part of going to school and she really misses her teachers and the staff at school. And other parents say it's comforting to know that under the commissioner's plan, parents can still choose to keep their children home until the end of the school year if they want to. I don't think parents should be forced to make that decision, especially with everything so touch and go right now. Today, Governor Charlie Baker said around 400,000 students across the state have been remote since last year. Now, here in Springfield, students are set to return to the classroom in a phased in approach beginning on March 15th, and that's for the first time since last year. We reached out to the superintendent for a comment, but he said it was too early to comment on Desi's plans. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.